So, you know, I, I get like there are videos that people need to make views on or whatever, and people, you know, they just want views, right? So they're willing to say anything, regardless if they like something or not or whatever. So already I'm seeing people saying that RE2 sucks. Now, the thing is, I haven't even bothered to watch these videos because they're obviously clickbait videos. I'll, held, I'll hold my reasons. First of all, like, this is nothing... Res Resident Evil 2, like, you don't have to like it. That's one thing. I'm not saying that it's the best game ever. Uh, but, you know, I, I've noticed a trend, a big trend, uh, since Resident Evil 2 was released, right? So I'm a gamer and I do a lot of reviews, right? And I was willing uh to review this game and do my let's play on it. But I had a, I had I was really busy this week so I couldn't really do anything about it. But what I notice the day of the day of of its release, it already got reviews and those reviews were 4 hours long, which Which I'm kind of confused on, for one thing. That's really my only complaint about Resident Evil 2, was as soon as I wanted to make a review on it, there was already reviews, and it was released the day of I got it. And I was going to make a review like four hours later, but by the time I did it, there was already people that made reviews, and people that already did Let's Plays, and they've been playing the game a lot longer, regardless that we've all been playing the same game for the exact same amount of time. So I call BS on that part. Uh, so like I said, this game, it, it's not the greatest game ever, but it is nostalgic and is some, it, it is based on an original classic game. So, yeah, that's what nostalgic means, obviously, you shit, right. But, I've been noticing a trend, like I said, since RE2 was released, but just like every other game before it was released, right? So, people like to bash on shit, and they like to hype up shit, so... I'll give two things that I noticed. The good and the bad. Well, good reviews versus bad reviews. First of all, the good reviews were BS. Every single good review I saw the first day RE2 came out was complete BS. Because you know they did not play the game well enough to critique it enough to actually give a good review. You know that's a fact. That is a fact. And there's proof all over the internet that a lot of people that made these reviews fabricated it. It's true. Second, the bad reviews, saying that this game sucked. Like I said, you don't have to like this game. I can respect people's personal opinion. What I can't respect is clickbait. Now, the thing is, I'm actually guilty of clickbait in the past. I don't really don't do it anymore. Now I actually try to make videos and voice my opinion. And I couldn't think of any other way to make this video because this subject, it's really gotten to me. This, this whole review thing has gotten to me, right? And so people are saying, like, how bad this game is, like, the worst game ever made, and blah, 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 blah. And, yeah, there, there are people on the Internet that do that, whatever. They do it for clickbait. Like I said, I can respect people's personal opinions and whatever. What I can't respect is that people are deliberately bashing it just to get the views. So what I'm saying is both the good reviews and the bad reviews. I have yet to see anyone actually properly critique this game. I, I've looked all over the internet. i searched every YouTube video. And every single YouTube video is like biased in some way. Or is just making the video just for views. And it's daunting. And it's annoying. And like me as a gamer, as a Let's Player, and as a movie reviewer, and as a game reviewer, these type of things are kind of annoying. Because you got so many people on YouTube, like, making shit videos just for clicks. And of course, hence the word clickbait videos. Now, this video right here, it's not really a rant. It's more as a, it's an observation. Let's just put it that way. It's an observation. And so, I've noticed this with almost every single game that's been released. Every single game in the past year, 2018. And they've all had biased opinions, and they've all had hateful clickbait videos. Um, like I said, you don't have to like something that other people like. It's okay. I, I, there's a lot of things I don't like that other people like, right? Like, I, I would give a good example, but you guys would just flip the fuck out if I say it, but I'm not going to say it, but I want to. 
you know what? That's for another video. That's for a completely another video. So uh, I'll keep that. I'll keep that in for now. But I want to say it. I want to say something that I've wanted to say for a long time about a certain movie that I didn't actually like. But if I say it, people will flip their shit. And they'll be like, why didn't you like that movie? Well, I'll give you millions of reasons why I like that movie. But this is about a video game. This is about Resident Evil 2 and something I've been observing in the past year. No one really gives a critique uh, video about video games anymore. It's all just for clicks, and it's really baffling, and it's annoying. Like, as someone who's been doing YouTube for years on end, I've been, you know, trying to do Let's Plays and trying to do my game reviews, sometimes my movie reviews. Sometimes I shy away so I can go do other things, because, you know, that's just life. But you have all these people on the internet that are making these clickbait videos about how much Resident Evil 2 sucks. Like I said, it's not the best game in the world, but it's definitely not the worst game in the world. It's it's okay. It's nostalgic. That's why people love this game. They want to go back to the nostalgic feeling. And people are like, well, they shouldn't be making re remakes of blah, 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 blah. Well, here's the thing. When people make a remake of a movie or video game, here's something that you probably don't know. You don't have to play it, and you don't have to watch it. I, I just blew your fucking mind, right? Like... Like, when a new movie comes out, you don't have to watch it. When a new game comes out, you don't have to play it. You see where I'm getting at? So, it's not the fact that people don't like this game. Is what bothers me. Is that people are deliberately just shitting on it just for clicks. And people who are giving it good biased reviews really piss me off beyond belief. Because you know for a fact that they did not actually play the game to actually give it a proper review. I almost give up in this type of game. Uh, I'm not, I mean, not play Resident Evil, but like give up like doing uh, review videos because there's so many clickbait videos out there that the competition is just annoying. Like, I don't want to be associated with most of those people. <laughs> you know, you know. But I'm not saying every YouTuber is guilty of this, right? Uh, there's some good YouTubers that I really do enjoy. Uh, Angry Joe. I love Angry Joe's videos. Like, I think he actually gives legit game reviews. Um, a angry video game nerd. Well, of course, he reviews, like, retro games. But you get what I mean. People actually take the time to critique games, but not just, like, say, oh, this is the best game ever. I'm going to give it 9 out of 10, or blah, blah, blah. Or this is the worst game ever. I'm going to give it 1 out of 10, you know? It's one or the other. Either you're going to get a biased review of saying how great this fucking game is and how you should be playing it and how you should be wasting your money on it. Or you're going to get another review that says, this game is fucking shit. Like, they fucking, they blew, they blew it out of the water. They made this remake, and oh my god, I'm going to fucking blah, 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 fuck Capcom. You know, oh, YouTube, YouTube, you're funny. You're really funny. And it's like a circus. Like I said, I'm not saying every single uh, YouTuber does it. But a lot do. And that's what's annoying. God damn it. <laughs> God fucking damn it. It's so annoying. Like, the reason why, the real reason why I've been kind of upset about this subject. Because well, while I was playing the game, I was wondering, like, what people actually thought of the game. Or in whatnot. And so I went on YouTube. And I couldn't find one single damn video that actually gave a good critique on the game. I could do it, but I don't have that much time. I have a real job, so I can't do YouTube 24-7. I would love to do YouTube 24-7 if I got paid, but I don't. So I have a real job. You see how that works? Like, I would love to do it, but I have responsibilities and stuff like that. Ah, it's just the day and age we live with. Like, you know, uh, the same thing. Okay, I'll give you a good example of, like, stuff I've seen this with. Like, especially Star Wars The Force Awakens. Okay, first of all. I'm just making an example. This is related to Resident Evil. You don't have to like The Force Awakens. You don't have to like Star Wars. But the same thing happened with Star Wars that's happening with Resident Evil. You're getting biased, great, fucking good. This is the best movie ever. Oh my god. Kazaa. Or you're getting like, this is the worst movie ever fucking made. And anyone who says Star Wars The Force Awakens is the worst movie ever fucking made, you haven't watched that many movies. Trust me. If you say Resident Evil 2 is the worst game ever made, you haven't played that many fucking games. If you say Resident Evil 2 is the greatest fucking game ever, 
again, you haven't played that many fucking games. It is a great game. I enjoy it. I'm going to play the shit out of it. I'm going to play the shit out of it for, like, the rest of this year. I want to play this game so much that I'm going to be sick of it. Like, I'm going to be sick of it and never want to touch it again. Because that's what I do with video games. Like, I don't like to move on that fast. I like to play the shit out of games that I'm playing now. Because I like to save my money. Because I'm a little conservative like that. So, yeah. Because that's how my life works. I got to save money because I have a job, responsibilities, and shit like that. So... YouTube, you're killing me here. You're killing me, Smalls. And it's fucking annoying. Later, guys.